Hello and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at, you know, different ports and components of our computers as well. Our ports are, you know, very important because it's how we're going to be plugging things into our systems. And you can see I have a bunch of things in front of me, a lot of toys and things to show. So um, before we get into this, let's actually jump in and look at, you know, kind of giving them a definition and everything, defining them. So let's jump into the PowerPoint. So as I said, we're going to be talking about ports. And as well, these are on the back of your system unit. So your system unit is the, the case, your tower that you have, um, and everything kind of plugs into that. So, and you might, you know, most of them plug into the back, but you might have some that you plug into the front. So keep that in mind that you might have some on the front that you can plug items into. And as well, um, you can also, these directly connect to your system board or expansion card. So these directly plug in to the system board or expansion card. So if you recall last session, I kind of talked about, um, you know, how you can plug in like a new video card, things like that. So, um, you know, that's what you'll be plugging into as well is, you know, you'll be plugging into expansion cards or your system board. And so that's what I just brought is just a bunch of system boards that we'll look at. But now let's look back at the slides and kind of look at, you know, the types of ports that we have. So to start with, we do have two types of ports that we have to keep in mind. And we have your standard port and we have your specialized port. And so these do differ as well. So let's look at what our standard ports would include. So our standard ports would include um, things such as VGA, DVI, and HDMI. And these we use mostly for connecting a monitor too. So that's kind of your most standard use of these is for connecting a monitor and as well, Another standard port we have is a USB port, which, you know, you can plug a lot of different items into, but a lot of the common ones that we use nowadays are your keyboard, mice, printers, and other drives such as external drives. Um, so keep that in mind. And as well, we like to plug Ethernet into when we're not using wireless. So you can plug directly into that. So that's kind of your standard, um, standard ports that we have. And, you know, you have other ones that you might see and look at. Um, as well, but those are kind of the standard ones that you will commonly see on the back of your system unit or on the front of your system unit as well. So now let's look at um, what our specialized ports are. So our specialized ports could be ones such as your external serial ATA, or we abbreviate this as eSATA, and you can see an example image there as well of what this looks like. And what this provides is for an external hard drive connection. So you can plug an external hard drive into this and it will you know, give you more capacity hard drive storage space. Another one is a MIDI, which stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. So you can use these for like recording and everything as well. So keep that in mind that this is a um, specialized port. And as I said, it's great for connecting musical instruments into. So if you want to record, you know, um, audio and things like that, um, you know, you can use a MIDI port and it is a specialized port because the only thing that you can use it for really is connecting a musical instrument for it. Such if you think about our standard, standard ports like USB, you can plug a lot of different types of devices into it where, you know, a MIDI or an eSATA port, we only use for like one type of device really. So um, as well, let's jump back in and look at some other specialized ports that we have. So another one is a mini display port, which, you know, was really introduced by Apple and gained popularity. And you can see an image there um, as an example. And as well, this was used for connecting monitors too. It's a lot smaller of a port, so it doesn't take up as much real estate on your system as, you know, a big VGA or HDMI um, port does. And as well, Apple has gone to a Thunderbolt, which is kind of like um, the next generation of the mini display port as well. Um, and you can plug a lot of different devices into this though. It's not just for connecting monitors. It provides a lot of different high speed connections and you can plug a lot of different devices into it. Though you can still plug in, um, you know, a monitor into this as well. And all the newer models of Apple's you, will, Apple's you are seeing this on. So those are kind of like your, um, you know, your standard ports, your specialized ports, some examples of them. But, you know, it, I always think it's easier to visually see this. So I've brought in a bunch of different motherboards and everything that let's kind of go and look at and see. And we'll see that, 
you know, each motherboard does have a different um, set of ports, that they're not all the same. So you got to keep that in mind. And I did bring in some, um, you know, older motherboards and some newer motherboards as well, so we can see the difference. So let's look um, as well at this one right here that I have. And we could see that, you know, it has a lot of different ports. And, you know, you might notice right here that we have these ports, and these are a PS2 ports. And these are pre-USB, so we used to use these to plug in monitor, or sorry, mouse and keyboards into. And you do see that we do have some VGA ports as well, or sorry, USB ports as well. Sorry, I'm getting my acronyms confused here in my mind. And then, you know, as well, we have um, different serial ports and different items like that. So this is a parallel port, which we would use to actually hook up an old printer to before USB. And then here we have different serial ports as well, which we don't really see or really use as much anymore. And then we even see that we have um, audio ports um, as well for plugging in you know, a microphone or speakers. So now let's look at a different um, motherboard as well, because we'll see that it has different capabilities. And part of the reason it has different capabilities is it's actually not for your standard desktop PC. This is actually a motherboard for, um, from a really old server. Uh, which so it has different capabilities as well. So we could see this one I really brought in because it has two Ethernet ports. So it has two different Ethernet ports and only two USB. So this is a really old motherboard. Um, you know, we're looking probably mid 90s or so. And, you know, so the interesting part that I wanted to show with this is that, you know, because it's a server motherboard, it has two Ethernet ports that we can use. So that was the main interest, um, you know, off of this one. So now let's go and look at a different motherboard and we'll see that this one even has some different interfaces than before. So if we look at this now, this one again, it still has your PS2 ports, but now notice that we've kind of color coded them and we've done this to make it easier so we know what one's the mouse and what one's the keyboard because they were, you know, it made life easier. And as well, um, you can see we have a VGA here for a uh, monitor. And then we have a serial port here. So instead of multiple ones, we only had one. And you can see we have um, you know, USB and as well an Ethernet port and you know, for audio interfaces. So you can see that each motherboard is a little bit different you know, depending on what it has. And finally, here's the, the newest motherboard that I have. And I actually left the, uh, the back plate on it. So you can kind of see everything as one. And it is a little heavier. So you can see it has a lot of the standard ports that we've been talking about with your PS2s, your USB, your Ethernet. It even has your parallel port to hook up a printer. And it has a, a serial and a VGA interface. So this is a little newer, but it's still, you know, it's not like a brand new motherboard. So keep that in mind. But you can see that a lot of the motherboards do have, you know, your standardized standardized interfaces for me, standardized ports. So things that you, we like to plug in, such as our Ethernet. So you can see here's your Ethernet cable. And this is what we would plug in, you know, to your Ethernet port. So you can see that, um, you know, it's like a big telephone cord and, you know, everything. And we will talk about these um, later as well within networking. And another one that we have as well is such as your um, USB. So your USB is another standardized port. And you can see here, I have a lot of different USB um, items. So I actually have, this is a nice USB device that you can actually hook up different types of hard drives to. So you, we can hook up, um, this is for SATA. And you can even hook up your old style um, parallel port drives as well, um, your ATA as well, sorry, your ATA using USB. And as well, a lot of new devices now are not coming with, you know, your older um, serial ports. So we might have to get a device such as this, where it's a USB device that gives us this um, standardized port that we need. Because a lot of devices are moving away from this 9-pin interface. And, you know, we still might need this for different items um, to configure and set up. So keep that in mind. And as well, you've seen the trend of moving away from having a DVD drive. So this is actually just a nice USB DVD drive that we can use. So if, you know, if your laptop doesn't have, have one, you can go and get an external one and use this as well. So these are your different you know, standardized ports that 
we have and can use. And I also have some specialized ports as well. So here is a you know mini display port that goes from your for a Mac mini display port for a DVI monitor. So you can actually hook up a DVI monitor to this and you know use the mini display port. And as well, I have another one off to the side. And this one is actually a mini display port as well, but this one goes to HDMI. So you can see here's your mini display port and here's your HDMI and it's a it's a nice long cable that I, I like to use um, you know hooking up to projectors and things like that um, within you know when needed. So you can see we've looked at a bunch of different ports and interfaces on our systems on different motherboards. We can see that every motherboard does have its differences. So just become familiarized with what a standard port is and what a specialized port is as well. And just be aware of, you know, specialized ports have a specific purpose. So please keep that in mind and, you know, we'll see you next time. Thanks.